good morning students so till now we have read about the latitudes and important parallels of latitudes heat zones of the earth and i gave you an overview about the longitudes today we will read about the longitudes in detail and also how to find out the location of a place with the help of latitudes and longitudes so let us start reading the chapter what are longitudes to fix the position of a place it is necessary to know something more than the latitude of that place you can see for example that tonga island and mauritius island are situated on the same 20 degree south latitude so now in order to locate them precisely we must find out how far east or west these places are from a given line of reference running from north pole to the south pole these lines of references are called the meridians of longitude so longitude basically they are imaginary lines that run all around the earth so these are imaginary lines just as the latitudes and they also run all around the earth but they run they run in a vertical position they run from top till the down and they both meet at the north and south poles so longitudes are imaginary lines that run around the earth vertically and meet at the north and south poles now these lines are known as the meridians of longitudes and just as the earth divide sorry just as the equator divides the earth horizontally into two equal halves northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere in the same way prime meridian is a longitude i repeat prime meridian is a longitude that divides the earth vertically into two halves eastern and western hemisphere the value of prime meridian is 0 degree and in our previous video we talked that to know the location of any place we should know both the latitudes and longitudes of that place and the example that we discussed was of two islands tonga island and mauritius island now both these islands were on 20 degree south latitude so the longitude is not known to us that is why we could not find out how far east or how far west these islands were from prime meridian and now that we know that prime meridian divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere that is why it becomes clear that tonga island is on the pacific ocean which is on the western hemisphere and mauritius island is on the indian ocean which is on the eastern hemisphere so prime meridian is very important line of reference to know how far east or how far west any place is located on the earth so prime meridian is a meridian of longitude it is the biggest meridian of longitude and it divides the earth into two hemisphere eastern and western and the distance between them are measured in degrees of longitude here them refers to longitudes and each degree is further divided into minutes and minutes into seconds they are semicircles and the distance between them decreases steadily polewards until it becomes zero at the poles where all the meridians meet so the distance between each meridian is measured in degree of longitude i repeat in degrees of longitude see here in this image 2.6 as you'll see the longitudes it is running from north pole to the south pole and prime meridian is dividing the earth from the center and towards the west if you see it is written 30 degree west 60 degree west so this degree is the measurement or this is how the longitudes are measured in degrees now this degree is further divided into minutes and each minute into seconds and the symbols of degree minute and second is given here in the picture as you can see the symbol of degree is a small dot 
minute is one dash and second is two dash so this is the this is the symbols of the degree minutes and seconds now here an important thing to note is that the longitudes they are the semicircles they are the semicircles and the distance between the longitude it decreases as we are moving towards the pole so poleward means as we are moving towards the poles the distance between the each longitude will go on decreasing and at the poles it will become zero and that is why all the meridians are meeting at the poles because the distance between each meridian or each longitude will become zero that is why all the meridians they are meeting at the poles now we will move to the next paragraph unlike parallels of latitude all the meridians are of equal length thus it was difficult to number the meridians Hence, all the countries decided that the count should begin from the meridian which passed through Greenwich, where the British Royal Observatory is located. This meridian is called a prime meridian. Its value is zero degree longitude, and from it we count one eighty degree eastward as well as one eighty degree westward. So. the prime meridian and the 180 degree meridian divide the earth into two equal halves eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere therefore the longitude of a place is followed by the letter e for the east and w for the west it is however interesting to note that 180 degree east and 180 degree west meridians are on the same line so here an important thing is that the longitudes are of the same length the latitudes the length of the latitudes goes on decreasing but this is not in the case of longitudes the length of the longitudes remains same throughout it's just that the distance between them decreases when we are moving towards the poles and as we have discussed earlier prime meridian is an important longitude because from this point only countries have decided that there will be 180 180 lines of longitude on the east of prime meridian and 180 lines of longitudes to the west of prime meridian so from the 0 degree which is prime meridian there will be total 180 lines of longitude towards the west and 180 lines of longitude towards the east and when we add these 180 degree west longitude and 180 degree east longitude we get 360 longitudes and as we all know that in total there are 360 longitudes and 180 latitudes if we remove equator and if we add equator it becomes 181 and if we are marking if we are marking any place on the western side we have to write the letter w and if we are marking any place on the eastern side we will write the letter e or east here also in the image or in this figure you can see where 30 degree west or 30 degree w is written this w is important in order to show that this place is on the western side and 30 degree east is written to show that it is on the eastern side so w and e writing w and e is very important to show the exact location of that place now it is however interesting to note that 180 degree east and 180 degree west meridians are on the same line now 180 degree west and east longitude is on the same is the same it means that they both are on the same line and this 180 degree longitude is also known as the international date line i hope longitude is clear to you here what are longitudes and what is prime meridian these things are important and you need to remember and you need to remember them correctly now we will move on to the next paragraph 
now look at the grid of the parallels of latitude and meridians of the longitude on the globe figure 2.6 you can locate any point on the globe very easily if you know its latitude and longitude for example dubri in assam is situated at 26 degree north latitude and 90 degree east longitude find out the place or find out the point where these two lines cut each other that point will be location of dubri so here we are looking at this new term called grid so what is a grid a network of latitude and longitudes that cross each other to form a series of square is called a grid so grid is a network it is a network of latitude and longitude which are crossing which are crossing or intersecting each other and it is forming a square in the figure 2.6 you can see latitudes and longitudes they are intersecting each other and they are forming a shape square and this shape is helping us to find out the location of a place so we can locate place with the help of this grid now here the location of assam is given to us assam is located at 26 degree north latitude and 90 degree east longitude so this is the exact location of assam and we came to know about it because we had the knowledge of both latitude as well as longitude now here an activity is given and after understanding it it will become very clear how we are actually locating any place on the earth so for this what Uh, to understand this clearly equidistant vertical and horizontal lines on a paper label vertical rows with numbers and horizontal rows with letters draw some small circles randomly on points where these horizontal and vertical lines intersect each other name these small circles as a b c d and e let vertical lines represent east longitude and horizontal lines as north latitudes so here what you have to do you have to make this grid or this mesh like shape and these lines should be equidistant equidistant means that the lines should be of equal distance or the line should have equal distance between them so we will draw equidistant vertical as well as horizontal line and the vertical lines will be marked with 1 2 3 and 4 and the horizontal lines will be marked with letters so the intersection of these letters and numbers we will take some intersections so you can see we have taken small a small b small c d and e respectively and we will find out the location of these these letters so here as you can see i have drawn the exact same same figure and here the purple lines are east longitudes it they are depicting east longitudes and the pink lines are depicting north latitudes so the the circle where a is written small letter a is written if we have to find out the location of that particular place what we will do is that we will see on which latitude first it is lying so it is on b north latitude see the second line on the second line we have marked mark the letter b mark the letter b so that b is north latitude and it is on one day, one east longitude so we can say that the small letter a is on b degree north latitude and e degree east longitude this is the exact location of the point a since it is on the b north latitude and a e and 1 east longitude that is why 
we have come to know that it is on b degree north latitude and 1 degree east longitude and similarly if we are finding out the location of the letter b then it is on the d north latitude and 1 east longitude since it is on the d line and 1 line so first we will write the latitude and then we will write the longitude so first of all we will write the latitude and then in the second we will write the longitude of that place and n or uh, and uh, the letter n and e is again very important to write to show that it is on the north side and on the east side now here as you can see prime meridian which is passing through greenwich <coughs> is on the center is on the center and it is dividing the earth into eastern and western hemisphere and the value of prime meridian is zero and here also you can see that as we move towards the pole the distance between the longitude is decreasing and as a result all the meridians are meeting at one point that is north pole and south pole now 180 degree longitude line is also referred to as the international date line about which we will read later on so i hope you all have understood the concept of longitude and how to find out the location of places now you can also find out the location of other points and if possible you can also send me the images on campus care now in the next class we will finish with this lesson read the read the chapter very thoroughly and we will meet in our next video thank you